My name is Inbal Minash. Um, I go to Lawrence High School and I would love to become a dentist. In October, I was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma. You really have to be focused on fighting through. We did all the available protocols in the state and it doesn't work. And uh, hopefully we will be accepted to the new trials that is coming soon. It was just very scary to know that in this war, I do have a chance of losing. We are in a world aggressive cancer. If it wasn't for them, I don't know how I would have done it. The day when I got diagnosed, I felt like I was pushed in a corner and I, there's no way of getting out. I was hopeless. And I, was, I had so many plans. I thought I was gonna be a big doctor and all those plans are on pause. And they always remind me that it's, it's not like you're never gonna have those plans. They're just on hold for now. Esther gave me a hug and said, I'm gonna be at your wedding. I don't care what anybody says. And that made me feel so good and gave me so much hope. The, the help that they provided to my family and to other families, it's tremendous. It's very amazing. They give their whole lives to this. And everybody that goes along with it, the volunteers that came with me to Disney World. I had the most amazing time, such a good, feeling, you have to know that you're not alone. December 2006, I was diagnosed with my initial cancer. 2010, I was finished with my three years of chemo. More recently, they had found out that it was a relapse. We obviously thought we killed it the first time and it went away, now it's back. It was shocking for us. I wish nobody can experience this experience, only my enemies. I've been through it once, I can do this again. Today specifically, it was just the first time that my arm started limping or neuropathy. I mean, it, it was worrying us really because I can't lift up my arm, something's wrong. We believe that it's, again, with the help of High Life, we will be able to fight it again. Camp Simcoe is basically forgetting about illness, just being treated as normal. No one points out, oh, hey, that kid has this tube or that tube. I, I don't think I would be the same person if I did, had not gone to camp. I don't think I would have the same confidence in myself and in my treatment. By bringing James to summer camps, this brings a lot of help to parents who also have a chance to recharge and to get strength for a new fight. I mean, cancer sucks, but it's part of life. Uh, there is a very good saying in Latin, dum spiro spero means uh, I fight while my last breath. During the winter of 09, my health was slowly deteriorating. Terrible, terrible, excruciating brain pain. I took him for an MRI. It was just him and I. I never would have imagined a brain tumor. Like, who immediately thinks cancer? I really just heard the word masses, and then when we got to Children's Hospital, they became tumors. I guess you don't want to see that your child has cancer. So every word, although the words kept changing, it never was cancer until they said the word cancer. The doctor finally explains to me that I have two tumors in my brain, on my pituitary and my pineal gland. I thought I had known fear from things in my life, but this was scary because you feel hopeless. People just had a, just looked at me completely differently. It was Hunter with cancer now. I was cancer. The hardest part, I think, is the hard decisions. Do you biopsy your kid? What's the treatment? Those are the decisions where sometimes the best doctors in the world, which I feel like we were dealing with, to have different opinions. And at the end of the day, who has to make that decision? And what makes me qualified to make those decisions? I love High Life Line. They're the best. There is craziness going on outside the bus. I could just see like how happy they were to be able to help us. It just got better and better. I mean, there was soda machines everywhere that don't need any money. Golf carts everywhere to take you wherever you want. There was a lake with a speedboat. All sorts of activities. They kept saying, he needs to come to camp. 
I go, he, he's not going to camp. He has radiation. They sent camp to him. They brought two counselors, took him out for the day, left me alone. They didn't just do what was easy for them. They went out of their way. I think High Lifeline has been truly a godsend. What can you say? They do good work. They're amazing, they do good work. amazing, good, good, good people. You feel a little safer, a little better. He takes a lot of medications. He takes a lot uh, of medications. And we worry about that, and I hate that, but, you know, he's here. Everybody should uh, open their hearts and wallets to help, because this way they save lives. They don't know. They don't know what's going to happen. If I'm not here, I think that the most important part is for people to know not to take life for granted, to just always be by each other's side and to hold each other's hands, because life is too short.